This is how we go about a dumbbell bench press. You can actually get away with doing these on the floor as well, but here's a couple little tips and tricks to get you going if you don't have access to something like a barbell, but you have something to lay on, floor still works too, right? So I get myself lined up in the seat. I have the weights posted onto my knees, and as the weights get heavier, we'll see a lot of people who will do this. They let the weight kind of fall, and they let it just fall on them from here. I know it's really tough to get out of here, especially if you get to really heavy weights. Instead, I'm gonna kind of fall back and then peel the weight off of your knees. So it'll be one fluid motion. Now I can go ahead and set my shoulders down my back. And I wanna to start to think, push my shoulders into the pad instead of reach out towards the ceiling. So instead of getting into it, and then reaching out here, the idea is dig your shoulders down. If your back even might naturally curl, create an A shape and press back to the start. Create an A shape and right back to the start. Now I'm going a little bit light so my hands open up. It's just one of the things that I do. But if it was really, really heavy, then I'd work to focus in and drive my back into the bench. And when I'm done, I can bring it down to my chest I can let it fall out from here. I can even try to bring it down to my hips and get my way back up. What you might not have been able to see is A shape, find an A shape. When we do pressing work, push-ups, dumbbell press, barbell pressing, any of that, instead of creating a T, which has a lot of internal rotation of your shoulder, your shoulder becomes very prominent in the movement. Instead, when you have this A shape, where you basically, you get your elbow at about 45 degrees, it could be a little bit off, right? And we press from here, you'll actually find a lot more chest activation. So give it a 